Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. I'm in the kitchen of our church, and I have a question to ask you. What is this? Oh, you immediately said, that's salt. And boy, do we appreciate this salt. You know, uh, you go into restaurants today, you, most of them you have to ask for the salt. And when they bring you the salt, it's in little packets. And you've got to ask for more salt, if you, especially if you're like me. But you remember the good old days? Well, that's right, that was just a few months ago. When we sat down at a table restaurant, there we would find the salt. But what else would we find on that table? That's right, we'd find pepper. Salt and pepper, they go together. I mean, I think they call them condiments, but to me, they're complements. They complement each other, as different as they are. I mean, just think, I could blindfold you, and I could put a little salt in your hand, and you would quickly be able to taste it and say, that's salt. Pepper would be the same, as different as they are. Look at it. In the same container, they, the containers are just alike, but you can tell there's a difference. One's white and one's black, but they go together to make our food better. Think about this world that we're living in today. We're getting into a lot of these issues about whites and blacks and all that's going on in this world today. We are different, but we're the same. God created us, and He's made us to complement each other. We need to go together to season this world, just like these two come together to season our food to make it so much better. We need to see that coming together as white and as black, that we're complementing this world and we're pointing people to Jesus. And so let us be reminded, we're each so important. We're different, but we're the same. And we need to follow the words of our Lord in Ecclesiastes, uh, the fourth chapter, verse 9, it says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. And so think about it. It says there two are better than one. Now I love my salt, but I need my pepper too. Folks that love pepper, I know one person coats everything in the pepper, but you need the salt also. We need each other in this world. We need to work together in this world. We need to be able to help each other because what's going to happen if one falls, the other one's going to be falling too. That's the way life is. We need each other. Let's be trusting each other, loving each other, forgiving, and seeing, yes, we're different, but we're truly the same. We're both made in the image of God. And I used that word both, and I thought everybody is made in the image of God. Red and yellow, black and white, and every color in between, we're made in the image of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, teach us to love each other, to appreciate the difference in each and every person. But then let us realize we need to be together to complement this world, to give a taste of your glory, to give a taste of your love and your forgiveness. So Lord, guide us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Taste God's goodness. I think it's going to be very special.